my poem politics dedicated to true participatory democracy voting for issues void of political parties politics is inherently divisive no matter how media portrays it leaders try in vain to unite people under parties talking about bipartisan multipartisanships merely to divert attention from very nature of politics that is synonym is politics does all efforts to unify people under politics only ended in a society indifferent and elusive while citizens suffer to maintain expensive leaderships where strategies win opponents for victories making politicians work against participatory democracy voting against voters for aristocratic supremacy marring nations with unsolved problems buried under infighting repeating history of wars and poverty dividing communities countries and all permanently pons by kolke we want best things for us and our children in the industrial and technological world but are we being led by the best people of our time politically economically industrially technologically culturally scientifically religiously and philosophically if not why not because the british style multi party divided parliamentary system was developed for loyalty towards guaranteed monarchy eradicating any possibility of people's democratic revolution and now there is a new defi designation political scientist politics is never science is the most deceiving art which is causing endless sufferings to citizens around the world as few enjoy divide and rule policy depriving nations from unity honesty and integrity for the overall benefit of the united monarchy and their covert banks and agencies politics can never be science to maximize humanization of our society political science should be changed to governance science focusing on good governance using science technology commerce agriculture arts and related culture at plurality in 1770 sir william pitt sir william pitt uh, speaking to the house of lords said there is something behind the throne greater than the king himself this reference to the money changers behind the bank of england gave birth to the expression the power behind the throne in 1844 benjamin disraeli in a veiled allusion to the same power road the world is governed by very different personages from what is imagined by those who are not behind the scenes on 21st november 1933 us president franklin d roosevelt wrote in a letter to a confidant the real truth of the matter is as you know and i know that a financial element in the large centers has owned government ever since the days of andrew jackson food for thought for all world citizens god bless our world god bless universal consciousness